good evening welcome back to my galactic wars i've just done a run i'm about to do another this time round. so this is the squad i'm gonna run um my ray jedi training is now gear 12 i i have captured all though all the gearing that took place to get her there as you can see she doesn't have anything maxed as yet um there's quite a few bits there isn't there there's six in total um so she's very um ability mat hungry um what have we got five ten fifteen twenty five 38 so she needs 51 omegas and 60 zetas to max her um yeah so that all that will come in at some point maybe but for now let's just see how far they can get under auto. And of course, that's not factoring in that um, to really get this ball rolling, literally, uh, I'm also going to need to sort out roll with the punches. When BBA attacks out of turn he calls a random resistance ally to assist so uh, that's also so it's 64 omegas and 80 zetas yay Wow. I always forget what it's called. Illuminated Destiny. That was um impressive the way that that got called up. That's me after a, a, a proper boozing session, isn't it?
Oh, here we go. We're going to have uh, fives rattling off a few counters, I would expect. did get a few counters off before um, he departed. This isn't really um, level 79. We're still not getting um, well, I say we're not going to get a test. All we need is to ignore Boba and in one shot and party, well, not the party, but oh. Expecting more damage from that one shot there. Mr. Beardy's chest is awfully strong, apparently. Oh. I was listening to the Imagine Dragons the other day. Almost at the end. And to the conclusion, ooh, a loomy lead. Now we know how well AI plays a loomy lead.
Wow. And of course, R2's increased accuracy probably comes into play somewhat there. CAD, Darth Maul, and who is that? Scav. Jawa Scav. That's it. Um, yeah. That's two Galactic Wars back to back. Thank you for watching.